Okay, so I know who's gonna win the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 54. Well, the winner is. <clears throat> what is up? That's not my real voice. Anyway, if you guys tuned in, welcome in on the Rocks Entertainment here again. And you watch the title of the video, it's who's going to win the Super Bowl 54. So I don't want to make you guys wait and be clickbait in this video, make it 22 minutes long. So you guys have to watch all 22 minutes, but we could do that. That's not my style. Anyway, the winner, the Super Bowl, is going to be the Memphis Maniacs. I'm just kidding. That's an XFL team. They're going to start a new season again. And I, I found this old relic in my closet. So it looked pretty cool. So I figured use it, you know. So two teams, San Francisco 49ers, Kansas City Chiefs, both in the Super Bowl this Sunday. It's only a couple days away. And you guys could go to ESPN. You guys could go to like Pro Football Magazine or betting websites and stuff and get the in-depth review in who's going to win and why. You know, 49ers got a good defense. Kansas City has a good offense. I don't really look pretty equal to me. You know, there's too much of the same thing on both sides of the ball. So when that happens, I have learned to go to science. Science will always be right 5% of the time. Science will always be right 2% of the time. So I think it's 2%. But 2% is better than 0%. So anyway, I have an idea. I know how we can pick the winner. So I don't know if you can pick this up on the camera. Super Bowl coin, you guys. All right. So the B, that's going to be for the Niners. All right. This side right here that has like microchips and shit, that's going to be Kansas City Chiefs. And we're going to spin it back here. I'm just going to pick it up. I'm not going to like flip it to the team I want to win. And we're going to get a real prediction using science the way it should be. Okay. I'm going to spin it back here. Give it a good spin. Hope it doesn't fall off the table. Okay, I don't know if that spin really worked. I kind of had it that way and it stayed, so let's, let's get a real spin. Ugh. That one fell off the table, so we have to do it again. All right. There it is. 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl. So if you're going to bet money and stuff, don't, don't blame me. But if you believe in science, maybe you should. Maybe you should because science, the laws of gravity, what goes up must go down. The more you know, the more you grow. Knowing is half the battle. Maybe you should do it. But, but I'm not going to be responsible for it. But anyway, back to the channel. Uh, I haven't used this little studio since last year. 2019. So this is the first time, 2020. Why I haven't done it? Lazy. It's pretty hard to get this stuff up by yourself. So I haven't felt like doing it. Be honest. And I have some stuff planned this week. Hopefully the weather holds up. If you saw my last video, it was pretty good out there. Had some ocean shots traveling around. I might put some shots in this video for you guys because the sun is still up. But I'm hoping on Sunday that the sun is going to stay up because I got the day off the day for the Super Bowl, but I have a, a plan of having a little field trip right before the Super Bowl. I'm not going to put this up at the Super Bowl because I know nobody can take on the Super Bowl. Everybody's going to be watching that, so I'm not going to try. It might go up Monday or if I can quickly get it up before the game starts, which is not going to be possible. I might make an attempt. It's going to play 1.30 here in my area, so not much time to play with couple field trip ideas I got, but you guys have to tune in to find out where I actually go. So if it's not raining on Sunday, you guys 
we're going to take a pretty cool field trip, something on this island that I've been wanting to do, but I never did. It's more like on a tourist side, but I think it's, it's pretty cool to go film it. I can see you having fun on this. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That way you get a notification of when that next video comes up. I do have a couple field trips planned on this island. And then the big field trip back on Oahu for the car show. Then whatever else comes to mind. Again, guys, On The Rocks Entertainment is just one, a one-man show. And sometimes I have the help of my brother and my cousin here, but basically it's a relaxed channel where you can just tune in and just see off the cuff things. Uh, I might have do it yourself, or I'm working on cars or something, or I might have some tips on cameras and stuff like that. Or I'll have some nice scenery relaxing videos, some comedy skits. It's it's not I don't think I really have a niche. I know most most YouTubers have a niche that they, they follow, but I don't know about you guys, but I, I was a, a channel surfer. So if you're a channel surfer and you want to just see a lots of full spectrum ideas and entertainment, that's me. Just real life and bringing you guys along on all the journeys that I have here on The Rocks Entertainment. But this is not the end of the video, so keep on tuning in, guys. I will put some cool stuff for you guys to look at because I have some good weather here and why waste it? All right, you guys. All right, you guys. So to show you how the rain came here, I just hopped a little uh, guardrail over there. I'm not trespassing. You got to trespass to go over there. So we're on the clear. Look at this. All full of rainwater. I don't know if there's any like bass or anything in there, but I'm not sure. It's probably just an irrigation ditch. But yep. What is that noise back there? Like I told you guys, take you guys out of the studio because it's nice outside. So you gotta take advantage of when it's nice outside. It is still winter, so we got a couple of good days. Let's go check out the beach again. There's some cool things in between. We'll turn this thing around. So once again, I'm behind a hotel. Let's go see the rules here. This is where I'm at. It's a beach park. They close it down at certain hours because sometimes vandals will come over and make trouble at night, which is a shame. Oh, live action. And that's the hotel back there. The beach is out there. There's a couple ways to go about, so. Let me get you guys out to the beach. We'll cut back to the film. Okay, we're back. There's like 50 yards that I had to run. I didn't want to give you the good old earthquake camera. Look at all this driftwood that's out here. Let's go pan really slow. It's a really long beach. Nobody's really on it. Looks like uh, looks like where the show Lost was filmed when the airplane went down. But let's get down there. Ugh. Oh, somebody else is on the beach there. Get some cool water shots. I might zoom in a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but 2020 is going like a race car. I feel like it was just the other day it was celebrating the new year. 
and it's already almost February. I just had to go into town to go pay some some bills and um, just got to thinking how did February sneak up on me but anyway I know I joke a lot about New Year's resolutions and stuff wonder what your guys uh, resolutions are that's gonna be a little challenge for some comments on there so if you just heard me say that please comment what your resolution is this new year I know I joked and said I didn't have a resolution that I would think about it next year, but in all seriousness, I have some resolutions. Quite a bit. Most important one is to stay productive and stay positive. You know, a lot of shit going on in the world. It's hard to stay positive sometimes. So that's number one, stay positive, stay productive. Number two, I want to get back in shape and work out like I used to. I used to be really big into, you know, physical sports, weightlifting, all that jazz. But you know what? Life happens and then sometimes you, you fall off track. It's all good. Get, get back into it. Matter of fact, tonight, I've reopened some parts of my gym and I'm just right now in my mind just trying to figure out a circuit that I want to do. So I'll get back into that. I don't know if I'm going to film that because like right now I don't know what kind of program I want to get into as far as the lifting, the physical training, cardio training the diet change, you know, all that, because health and fitness is important to you guys. Take care of you guys' self. Don't want to sound cliche, but live life to the fullest, the best that you know how. It's winter out here, but man, this is a blessing. This is a, truly a blessing to have a background like this, guys, and I appreciate it. I hope I can do my my best to give it justice to share with you guys. Right here, this is a relaxing point. Look how clear the water is. Take a sweep of this big wide open space. They could play the Super Bowl over here. I'm just kidding. Back over here is another mountain range. Far to the left, if you can imagine, via Kalepa. It's another trail hike that we could possibly do in the future. Yeah, so I'm glad that the weather is good out here. I can give you guys a little shot of the weather here. Just stepped in a hole there. And hopefully on Sunday this holds up so I can take you guys on another a field trip. Way better field trip than what I'm doing here. This is just a short, because I didn't want to just make a video about me making a Super Bowl prediction with the use of science in my uh, studio. So if you guys haven't subscribed, subscribe. That's the best way to know when I upload. Because like I said, guys, life happens. We have to do a lot of things like work and chores and sometimes help family and you never know what comes up. So I do not know exactly when I'm going to schedule uploads. I try to once or twice a week. I do my very best and my stuff is out of the box. I don't really have a niche like I told you guys. It's just a bunch of cool ideas videos that I have off the cuff real as it gets so I'm probably gonna put another little shot of something here that I think is pretty cool but until next time you guys thanks for tuning in as always you know you got a day use it guys if you have a dream embrace it because life is, life is short, man.
You know, we had the news of what happened to Kobe Bryant. And, uh, you know, man, you gotta just find positive strength. So you gotta dig, use it. You gotta dream, make it happen. Harness that dreams. There ain't no stupid dreams out there. The only thing stupid is if you have a dream and you don't acknowledge it. Till next time, you guys, I will catch you on the rocks. There's gonna be a little bit more of uh, footage, some natural beauty here. But after that, editor, kick my outro.